What's up campers? So in today's video, I am gonna be putting a new bra on my van and also talk to you a little bit about my move from Oregon to Dallas, Texas. Okay, so I got a couple of things on the agenda today. First off, my van really needs a good wash. So I'm gonna find one of those self-service like power wash places. There's a lot of them here in Texas. And there's a few cosmetic and aesthetic things that I wanna to do to my van that I've just been putting off for the longest time. So I'm gonna to get to those. I've actually never used one of these before, so let's see how it goes. So now my van is nice and clean, or at least cleaner than it used to be. Cost me two whole dollars. Now I can just drive around and let it dry off because it's always hot here. <laughs> just had a little conversation about van life and road trips with a gentleman. He just pulled off and saw my van. Uh, he drives a pretty cool Jeep. He's thinking about tricking his out too. Let's see if I can get him. Okay, so before we talk about my perspective on Texas as an Oregonian, I kind of wanted to touch a little bit on some of the things that have happened to me already since moving here. First week that I moved here, like day one of when I was in my new apartment, my van got broken into. So they broke one of my pocket windows and kind of ransacked my van a little bit. Didn't look like anything was stolen, so that's one good sign, but that cost me like 400 bucks to replace. The small little pocket windows are like the most expensive is what I found. It's been like 100 degrees consistently here in the summer for like the last, I don't know, three weeks straight. You'll get like a little bit of a break with like mid 90s weather and then right back to 100 degree weather. So it's been really hot here this summer. And I realized pretty quickly that my AC wasn't working and I tried to live without it for as long as I could. I finally took it into a mechanic and he fixed my AC. It was actually the radiator fan, I think, that had a short and so he just replaced that for me. But I have AC now, but I was really struggling with it for the longest time. All right, check it out. I got my Sasquatch Oregon shirt, Sasquatch socks. So I've actually gotten a few questions on why I moved to Texas in the first place. Now there's a lot of people kind of fleeing the West Coast states for financial or political reasons. Mine isn't either of those. Actually, my wife is from here in Dallas, Texas. And so we actually just moved here to be closer to her family. All right, so the two things that I'm gonna be doing to my van today are strictly cosmetic. My van was used when I bought it. It's not in pristine cosmetic condition. So I ordered this off of eBay. It's a replacement hood bra, hood bib, hood cover. I'm not really sure what they're called. I had one on there before, but over the past, you know, what is it? Two and a half years that I've had this van now, it's been kind of torn apart by all the road trips. So. Good as new. And then I also ordered this off of eBay. This is a piece of trim. The driver's side door has been missing this piece of trim ever since I bought it. So I kind of just want everything to look good again. So I'm gonna put this piece of trim back on my van. All right, before I put this piece of paneling on, I wanna make sure that I get it nice and cleaned off. This is an actual Ford OEM rounded end points forward. That looks a lot better than before. The only problem is, this is how it's supposed to look originally. My plastic's all worn out. <laughs> so now let's just quickly go over some of the pros and cons that I have from a Oregonian's perspective on Texas. I've only been here for five months, but I would say the pros are the weather. It's typically always pretty nice out. It's a lot cheaper here. Rent is cheaper. Gas is a lot cheaper. I think I drove by a gas station today and it was 298 
In Oregon, it's still up in the like 450, 465 range. Here in Dallas, there just isn't as much natural beauty as I'm used to in Oregon. Oregon has a lot of natural beauty just condensed into a small location. Whereas even though there are pretty places here in Texas, I'm sure it's all kind of spread out. Texas is a huge state. So you just have to go and look for it a lot more. You know, I could walk to a waterfall in my last place in 15 minutes and you know, I don't even know where to find one here. So it's gonna take more exploring and more learning about where I live. But yeah, those are my thoughts on Texas and those are the little things I do with my van. Thanks for tuning into this channel. I guess I'll catch y'all next time. Later. I'm actually about to go for a run because it's super nice out. <laughs>